In this video, we will learn how to read a table from SQL into Python and convert it into a pandas data frame. First of all, we need to install a library pyodbc. Let's open our command prompt. And in command prompt, you have to type pip install pyodbc. Press enter. I have already installed this library on my system. Now I'm going to import the library, import pyodbc and we will also import pandas to convert the table into a pandas data frame. Import pandas as pd. We will open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. This is SQL Server Management Studio. We have to click on connect and this is the server name written here. Click on connect. Now here you will see the databases. Click on this. I have a database name as test and inside this I have a table. The table name is iris and I am going to read this table into python. Let's go to our Jupyter notebook. We will make python SQL connection from pyodbc dot drivers. These are the drivers available and we have to use these drivers. One of the driver to connect to the SQL from python. And now we are going to make the connection. I will make one variable conn from pyodbc. We will use the method connect dot connect. And inside this we will pass some parameters. The first parameter is trusted connection. And we will write it as yes. The second parameter is driver. And here we have to pass the driver name in a dictionary. And I am going to use this driver because I am running the latest version of SQL. I'll copy this from here and paste it here. The next parameter is server. Here we have to give the server name and to find the server name, let's go to the Microsoft SQL Server Studio Management. And here you can see this is a server name laptop nt7cgf32. This is a server name that we have to write there. So we will write the server name here laptop. NT seven C G F thirty two and the last parameter is database. We have to define the database from which we are going to connect, and in our case, we are going to connect to the database test because inside this database we have a table iris. So we will type here test. Then we will make a cursor and store in a variable cursor from connection we will call cursor. A cursor holds the rows written by a SQL statement. When you perform any SQL query the results are held by the cursor. Let's execute our code. So we have successfully connected SQL from python. And we are going to perform the select query to read the table. We will use this cursor. We will write cursor dot execute. And to read a table in SQL, we have to write a select query. So we will write a select query here. Select star from our database name is test so we will write test here then we have to write the table name and here you will see the table name is dbo.iris the table name is iris and dbo is by default so we have to write test.dbo.iris let's execute our code so the rows are stored in this cursor and to get the result we have to run a for loop so we will make a for loop here. We will write a for loop for row in cursor because our results are stored in this 
cursor here so we are writing for row in cursor print row in the output you can see that we got all the results so in our table we have four five columns one two three four and five so these are the five columns which we have returned and we are going to convert this table into a pandas data frame I'll make one variable df. Now from pandas, I will use the method read underscore SQL query. We will use this method read underscore SQL query. And inside this, we will write the select statement in single or double quotes. Select star from our database name is test and our table name is dbo.iris and then we have to pass our parameter connection which we have defined above you can see here we have defined the connection here so we will pass that connection here now let's execute our code so we have successfully read the table from sql and converted that into a pandas data frame let's look at the top five rows of our data frame we will use the method head df dot head in the output you can see that we got the data frame with five columns one two three four and five and you will see that we got this similar result here but this is in the form of sql so we have we don't have actually column names here but once we have converted this result into a pandas data frame we got the columns name also we can also look at the bottom five rows we will use the method tail df dot tail in the output you can see that these are the bottom five rows of our data frame df we can also look at the shape that is how many rows and columns are present in the data frame we will use the method shape df dot shape so there are total 150 rows and five columns in our data frame df this is how you can convert python from sql and you can read any table from sql and then convert that table into a pandas data frame and then you can start building your machine learning model you can also try to connect your sql with python and read table if you face any problem you can write down in the comment section and i will reply to your comments i will help you to connect your sql from python if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.